I'm not gonna lie, this is a topic that has caused a lot of confusion right now. I get messages every single day from people wondering if AI is going to replace cybersecurity jobs. They see the headlines about AI replacing coders, programmers, and even artists, and they're wondering if security is next. Before we jump into today's video, I want to let you know if you are new to tech or cybersecurity and you're just trying to figure out where to even start, we host free weekly sessions that walk you through everything from fundamentals to lending your first role, no experience required, is completely free. It's all about giving you a clear path, especially when things feel this chaotic. All right, let's get back to whether learning coding is still worth it or not. The core question everyone has is, is it even worth it getting into cybersecurity in 2025 or is AI just going to automate it all and take our jobs away? My response is yes, it is 100% worth it, but there is a huge caveat. The job you think you're training for might not exist in five years. Let's look at the data. You see the layoffs at big tech companies. You hear CEOs talking about productivity boost from AI. And at first you could blame that on the economy or correcting for over hiring during that pandemic. And that was true for a while, but now in 2025, AI has fundamentally altered the landscape completely. The people who are truly at risk are the ones doing low level, repetitive manual tasks. The people whose entire job could be as simple as just a script. In the world of coding, AI is already writing and refactoring code, but what does that mean for us in cybersecurity and in my field specialty, which is identity access management, or I am, like I say in every video, it doesn't mean AI is going to be a mid-level I am engineer tomorrow. It means AI is getting really good at two things, pattern recognition and automation. Think about security operation center. AI is already being used to sift through billions of log entries in seconds to find the one event that looks like an attack. A human analyst, we don't even have the, the brain power to just do that. A human just can't do that. In my world of IAM, we're seeing AI built directly into the tools now. AI can now spot impossible behavior like a user account logging in from Texas and North Korea at the same time, right? It's for something or a quick example. It can analyze a user's normal behavior and flag when they suddenly try to access a high security file they've never touched before. It can even automate the boring stuff like running across, running access certification reports or deprovisioning a thousand contractor accounts. So if an AI can do 80% of those repetitive attacks, task for a fraction of the cost, why wouldn't a company use it? They will, and they are. The person whose job was only to run that report or only to reset password or only to click approve on access requests, that person is in severe trouble. If you don't adapt now, there's no career for you here soon. But if you do adapt and don't survive, you thrive. But if you do adapt, you don't just survive, you thrive. Every time a new technology comes out, it feels like the world is ending for some people. When the calculator was introduced, people argued it would make basic math skills obsolete. Instead of replacing mathematicians, it became a tool that allowed us to solve problems that were way more complex. The internet replaced some jobs, but it created entirely new industries. Web development, e-commerce, digital marketing, and yes, a massive boom in cybersecurity. And fun fact, actually, um, a lot of the billionaires that you guys see today as well also came from tech. I think up to like 1970, there was only like 13 billionaires in the world. Now we have over 3,000, and it's a lot because of obviously real estate and tech. But anyways, it's a repeating trend. New technology replaces low skill labor with high skill opportunities. The definition of high skill just changed. In the 2010s, if you knew how to configure a firewall, you had a good job. Um, if you could get a certification in a complex tool like CyberArk, like I did, you had a high value, high paying skill. But now in 2025, the definition of high skill has evolved again. Let's look at the history of our field. Just in the last 30 years, in the 1990s, cybersecurity meant you had a firewall and an antivirus program, that's it. You're just trying to keep the bad stuff out. In the 2000s, the internet changed everything completely. We got tons of new regulations. Suddenly, security wasn't just about a firewall, it was about compliance, audits, and spreadsheets. The high-skilled jobs was being an auditor or a compliance manager. Then in the 2010s, the cloud came along, the old perimeter was gone, the new perimeter became identity. This is when my field, identity access management, exploded. The high 
skilled jobs was mastering complex IM and privilege access management tools. That's where I built my career. Now in the 2020s, AI is the next leap. If you are an IM professional who only knows how to do what we did in the 2010s, you are a person at risk right now. You'll be replaced by the person who knows how to do the same but job with just AI. The person who can use AI to do the work of 10 people. The person who can strategize and let the AI handle the manual execution as well. The only people who get replaced are those who don't learn how to use these new tools. So now that we've established it's worth learning cybersecurity with AI in 2020, 25, here's the exact five-step roadmap I would follow right now. And spoiler, it's not about learning to code AI, it's about learning to use it and getting familiar with it and being comfortable with it. All right. Step number one is building your foundations. This has not changed and it never will. AI can't help you if you don't understand the fundamentals. You still need to know what is an IP address, what is a firewall, what is Active Directory, what is identity, right? This is your CompTIA Network Plus and Security Plus. You can't secure a network if you don't know what a network is. You can't manage identity if you don't know what and identity is. Do not skip this. AI is a terrible critical thinker. You have to be the one with the foundational skills. Step two would be learn the AI powered security tools. Instead of learning Python to build an AI, I want you to learn how to use the AI that has already built into the security tools. Go get a free trial of a modern SIM platform. Look at the AI features in my field, I am. This means understanding how the tools use AI for user behavior analytics. Uh, it means learning how AI spots anomalies, flags risky access and automates provisioning. Um, you need to be the person who can manage the tool, not the person the tool replaces, right? You wanna get ahead of the game. Step three would be understand AI driven threats. This is the flip side and is critical for security. You need to understand how the attackers are using AI. They are using AI to write perfectly convincing phishing emails in any language at massive scale. They're using AI to create deep fake voices to social engineer a help desk into resetting a CEO's password, which is just insane. They're using, also using AI to help and find and exploit vulnerabilities faster than ever. Your job is to understand these threats so you can build defenses against them. You become valuable when you can explain this risk to a business. Now, step four would be apply AI to real world security problems, forget building a movie recommendation app that's for coders for me a real world project is different set up a home lab like i did install a honey pot a fake system designed to attack attackers and then use an ai tool to analyze the attack traffic or use a generative ai to help you with a complex cybersecurity policy for a fictional company. Use AI to help you automate a compliance report. Show that you can use AI to solve a business problem related to risk, not just a, a technical one. Now, step five would be continuously learn and specialize. The industry is changing weekly. What I'm saying today might be outdated in six months. You have to stay curious uh, and keep evolving and keep evolving. But I'll add one more thing Specialized. AI is a great generalist and knows a little bit about everything. It's bad at being a specialist. It's bad at the it's bad at handling the complex one-off, this is weird problems that require deep human experience. And then that's where you come in. Become an expert in IM or cloud security or governance risk compliance, which is GRC. Become the human expert who guides the AI. So is AI coming for your job next? Only if you stand still. The future of cybersecurity isn't AI versus humans, it's AI powered humans versus AI powered attackers. And I don't know which side I'm betting on. If you're trying to figure out where to even start and want a clear path to follow, that's exactly what we cover in our free, free weekly sessions, twice a week cybersecurity webinars. We talk about the path, the jobs, and how to get your foot in the door even from scratch. You can find the first link in the description down below. Thank you all for watching. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe if you are new. Um, and you guys be safe. Have a good week. I'll catch you guys in the next video.